In this video, I'm going to talk about the mean value theorem for derivatives and apply it to this problem. Find the value or values that satisfy the mean value theorem for the function f of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 over the interval negative 3 to 0 and including those points. First of all, the mean value theorem for derivatives, specifically for derivatives. It says this. In a nutshell, it says if you have two points on, on a function, two points on a graph, let's say we have this point and this point. And I'm going to say the x-coordinate of this point is A and the x-coordinate of the next point is B. Now, we will have some um, value f of a, if I evaluate that, this would be, this point over here would be f of a, it's some value, it's the function evaluated at a, and over here we have some value f of b. Alright, that's just a, an algebraic way of saying the, the y coordinates, right? So the function evaluated at a, at a and b. Now, we can draw a secant line through those points and there will be some slope. Whatever that slope is, there's going to be a slope inherent through those points. And I'm going to call that slope, we know it as uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That's the algebraic way. When we get into calculus, this is still algebra, but we we write f of b minus f of a, and that's just how you're going to see it in calculus books, over b minus a. It means exactly the same thing. The, the difference of the y points or y coordinates minus or divided by the difference of the x coordinates. Now, we say that that will equal, this is the mean value theorem for derivatives now, that will equal the first derivative evaluated at some value c. So in other words, what it, the way it is, it is presented is it says there is some value c, there is some value c such that if you take the first derivative of the function and evaluate it at that value c, you're going to get a tangent line that is, the first derivative is the, the slope. You're going to get the slope of that function when evaluated at c. The slope will be the same as the slope of the line drawn through those uh, other two points. That's what this says, okay? So we draw a secant line between these two points, and all the mean value theorem says is that there's some point along this graph such that the tangent line has the same exact slope as that secant line, that line that we drew through the initial two points. Now, we're going to use this, this idea to, uh, to find this value c. This is what we're looking for. When it says find the values that satisfy the mean value theorem, it says look for those values c such that the uh, right there, the tangent the slope of the tangent is exactly the same slope as the line drawn through these these two points. And we're going to use as those two points negative 3 and 0. So just over here, I'm just going to say a equals negative 3 and b equals 0, just so, to kind of um, correlate that to what we're doing over here. So for this function. Now, f of x. By the way, this what I drew in green is not a picture of of this f of x function. Um, this is just a general drawing of, uh, of some graph just to give a demonstration of the mean value theorem for derivatives. Now, let's use this function. Here we go. First derivative. First, let's evaluate. f of negative 3 equals 3 times negative 3 quantity squared plus 5 times negative 3 minus 2 and 
We'll do the math on that, simplify that, and if that equals 10. That's f of a. f of b. f of 0. Ah, that's an easy one. 3 times 0 squared minus 5 times 0 minus 2 equals negative 2. All right, so we have our uh, y sub 2 and y sub 1, and we have our x sub 2 and x sub 1. I'm going to put this right here. We have our x sub 2 and our x sub 1 and our y sub 1 and our y sub 2. So now I'll draw a rough sketch of, of what this function does look like. And this is, uh, this is going to be a, a pretty rough sketch, but you'll, you'll kind of get the idea. When x is negative 3, it's we're way up here at 10. And so it comes, comes way down. And then when x is 0, y is negative 2. All right, it actually bottoms out below that and then it comes up. So the, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get some point some point along uh, this graph such that the slope is the same as the slope between these two points. All right, it's probably somewhere in here, somewhere in there. So let's find out what it is. And this, this is a pretty rough sketch. So we're going to take the first derivative. Actually, first let's, let's find the slope. So we'll say negative 2, that's y sub 2, minus 10. I'm doing this part now. Negative 2 minus 10 over th 0 minus negative 3, or 0 plus 3. That equals negative 12 over 3 equals negative 4. So that's for, for this problem. We're saying this slope, m equals negative 4. And we're, try we're trying to find some value here such that the slope is negative 4. So I'm going to take the first derivative now. f prime of x, that equals 6x plus 5, and I'll set that equal to this slope of negative 4. So this is the process. We find the slope in between the two points, take the first derivative, and then set that first derivative equal to that slope. And now solve for x. 6x equals negative 9, and so x equals negative 3 halves. So to answer the question, find the value or values that satisfy the, satisfy the mean value theorem, we only had one value here, and that is this. This is the value. X, when x equals negative 3 halves, the slope, and I can see how sketchy my sketch was. That was my attempt at a joke. When x equals negative 3 halves or negative 1 and a half, our slope, our the tangent, the slope of the tangent, would be exactly the same as the slope of the line drawn between uh, those two points that we named. So there we have it, using the mean value theorem.